Hello YouTube. This is J Flash XCVW and I'm back again with another card review. Now today's card is the card that I have in my hand. So last time I did a card review on Wabuku and according to me Wabuku is good in my books. Of course everybody's entitled to their own opinion just like I'm entitled to mine and I think Wabuku is pretty decent. Now the next card which of which you should already know because it's in the title and it was in my last video at the end where I said this is the next card anyway yeah it's mind control so mind control is it good is it bad I'm gonna find it out I'm gonna break this card down for you and we we all gonna find out this is a good card so first of all what does this even do who runs this crap Okay, target one monster your opponent controls. Until you invade, take control of that target, but it cannot declare an attack or be tributed. So, what does that mean? Here's a good thing. It could take your opponent's monsters. Now, usually we don't take your opponent's monster just so you can have it back at the end phase. We, we don't usually do that. Well, sometimes we do, but really what we want to do with that monster, we want to do other things with that monster. So, we, we might control your monster and we single summon. Or we might control your monster and we exceed summon. That's what people normally do. So, that's pretty good, don't you say that? Don't, don't you think? Or you can mind control some somebody's monster and use an effect against them. Or for yourself. So that's pretty good. Don't you think? I think so. Uh, sometimes you can go plus, and that's that's how you can go plus with mind control, taking an opponent's monster with a good effect and using that effect against your opponent, if possible. So, what's bad about mind control? Well, like I said before, you can't attack or tribute the monster, so I guess that could be considered a bad thing. But you know, you don't really do that. We don't really care about that part, we just take control so we can either attack directly or synchro or exceed summon. And I, I won't leave fusion out, we could probably fusion summon with the monster we mind control, so can't leave that out. Um, what's another bad thing? It's not really a top deck card. Like the only situation it will be a top deck card is if your opponent has either a Chaos Sorcerer or BLS or a scrap dragon or something that could destroy itself or target itself for its effect and remove it from the field so it's not really a top deck card because late in the game you can't really top deck it and be like I win you can't it doesn't really save you a turn either so it could be bad it, mind control can be bad late in the game it's more of an opening game through middle game card. Um, you can't go. You sometimes you can't go plus with mind control in those situations. As I just said, you can't. Sometimes if you take control of your opponent's monster, you can't really do anything with it. Um, another thing I don't like is taking control of exceed monsters. I, I really don't like doing that because unless it's Utopia, you can't really do anything with it besides just attaching exceed material. But, I mean, sometimes it's not even worth it to detach and exceed material. I mean, it's, hey, it's at, it, it all depends on which deck you're running. Because if you're running Frog Monarchs, you could probably mind control your opponent's um, Lagia or Doka. Let's say Doka, because it'll be better in this situation. So, you could probably mind control your opponent's Doka and some of Kaya's or Karaz or whatever Monarch players run, whatever Monarchs you guys use out there. Um, Light and Darkness, Oblux, have two monsters, mind control, your opponent's monsters, make that three monsters, summon Oblux. Hey, it could work. So maybe it is really a deck specific card. I doubt you'll see this kind of deck in, well, I don't even know. A lot of decks are actually using it right now. And most of these decks are synchro oriented decks or exceed oriented decks. 
because you know sometimes we have that tuner in our hand and we draw into mind controls and our opponent has that level four monster on the field so just summon the tuner mind control sync or exceed summon but yeah so mind control is it good is it bad based on the facts that we just said and of course you all are free to come up with your own stats about mind control your own opinions why do you think it's good why you think it's bad um, I wanna say it's a good card I'm gonna say it's a good card but can be deck specific I, I don't think it's meant for every deck but it's a good card when used right of course so I think that concludes this third edition of card review whatever we want to name the title so next time next time the next card that we are going to review will be I don't know no I really do not know so about do this I'm gonna ask you the viewers to leave a card name down in the comments below saying which card you want me to review and I'll tell you the good the good stuff and the bad stuff about it and I'll give you my opinion on if I think it's good or bad or whatever else there needs to be said about the card that you mentioned in the comments now I'm going to regionals Saturday I'm going to regionals Edison regionals and I've been doing a project I've been making a mat so I had this white mat that you probably see me use in some of my videos some of my dueling videos when I'm dueling you probably see me using a white mat so I taken that white I took that white mat and I did this with it looks good doesn't it it's not really done yet I really want to cover the whole part the whole mat so I might do some more stuff with it this is going that's going this is going to be my mat at regionals it's one of a kind because you know it's made by me so no one else is going to have it and I think I'm gonna do good against it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do good with it Um, I guess my next video will be what I am doing to prepare for regionals and in that video I'm going to talk about stuff that you could you could do to prepare yourself for regionals I mean yes it is my very first regionals but um, I've watched many videos on how to prepare for regionals I did some stuff that I came up with to prepare for this regionals and I've worked too hard. I'm gonna talk. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna talk. It's no doubting. I hope I win. No, I believe I'll win. <laughs> I'm not gonna lower myself or doubt myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. And I'm gonna hope that I believe that I could win. So yeah, that's a, that's this has been another edition of card review, the third one actually. So see you next time. Don't forget to watch my upcoming what to do, what not to do, whatever I'm going to call it at a regionals video. So J Flash is leaving now. So.